Well, like a scene out of his reality show, The Apprentice, President Donald Trump has told the director of the FBI, James Comey, you're fired. According to reports, Comey was addressing employees in Los Angeles when he learned of the firing from a TV report on the screens in the room and initially thought it was a joke before staff pulled him aside and told him, you're out. But joining us now live from New York is political commentator Eric Gusta and Republican commentator Ben Ferguson, who's in Dallas. So, Eric, let's start with you. This is a bombshell uh, that we haven't seen in America, well, you know, for decades, if not ever, to see the President of the United States actually firing his FBI director like this. Why do you think Trump has done it? I think Trump has done it because the Russian investigation is getting too close to him. Of course, James Comey did give him enough leverage with that last testimony that he gave to give a decent reason. Because in law, when you want to get rid of someone, it's very similar to when when he wanted to do something else and he asked, how can I get a Muslim ban? How can I legally do it? That's what he did with this one. How can I get rid of James Comey? That hearing that he had on Clinton emails opened the door and gave him the out. Because I believe that he knew the Russian investigation was honing in on him. Subpoenas went out on the Russian investigation yesterday, so he had to get rid of him to try to get his own person in that spot to make sure. Ben, it is interesting, though, isn't it? Because this is the guy, James Comey, who reopened the investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails just a couple of days uh, before the vote. Hillary Clinton says he's part of the reason she didn't become president. Democrats were furious yeah. with him. It, president Trump yeah. has kind of done something which the Democrats should be really pleased about. Well, if you look at the last seven leaders in the Democratic Party over the last six months, all of them have called for either James Comey to be fired by then-President Barack Obama or to resign because of his actions and how he put himself in a situation that an FBI director historically was unprecedented. A, a FBI director should not be political. They should not be holding these types of press conferences. They should not be interjecting whether they are or are not going to charge someone because that's left up to the state or to the, to the Justice Department. So he overstepped his boundaries on multiple occasions. I mean, the one group of people that are not shocked about him being fired tonight is every Republican and every Democrat in Washington, D.C., on Capitol Hill. Both sides realize that Director Comey had made himself into a political figure, and the FBI director is not supposed to even come close to politics. All right, ben, so for Democrats ben, now... All right, ben, it, let, let me jump say, so let Chuck Schumer let me, today... Let me, jump, well, let me jump in, because here's the counterpoint sure. to this, right? In 1973, Richard Nixon, you know, the sleaziest of all corrupt, sleazy presidents, fired a senior investigator, uh, and it was seen at the time as an attempt to cover up Watergate and everything else. Uh, and that may well have been what it was. The problem for Donald Trump here is this, isn't it? Is that even if he did this with all the intentions that you've just outlined, and the Democrats mm -hmm. have been leading the charge against Comey as well, even if he did, it's already being framed now as an attempt by Donald Trump to suppress and cover up the investigation into any collusion between him sure. and his team and the Russians. And that's just bad politics. Well, it's bad, it's bad politics, but it doesn't mean that it was the wrong decision. And, and let's be fair to history. When Richard Nixon had uh, the firings that he did, one, you had a criminal investigation at the time that was open and a congressional investigation directly linking with a lot of knowledge about the president of the United States of America doing things that would get him impeached. But we so don't know. you're but talking ben, about ben, a completely let me jump in again. different but ben, scenario. But Ben, we do know. Right now. We do know. That's what's that, going well, on hang right on, now. Eric, hang on. We do know, Ben, that there is an ongoing investigation at the FBI, potentially a criminal investigation, mm. into the collusion. So just... Putting, you know, to date, there is no firm evidence Look, that proves that collusion. But under, that investigation's under, ongoing, under, I, and the guy leading it has now just hmm. been removed. It just looks fishy. Does the fact that so many Democrats have spoken out against James Comey just give Donald Trump loads of ammunition when they argue that this is looking fishy or dodgy? But the counterpoint is Donald Trump praised him for being strong. He praised him for coming out and, and giving that press conference. And remember, Donald Trump has gotten rid of all of these people who were possibly investigating. You had Sally Yates, Preet Bharara, now James Comey. 
These people were people who were going to investigate him, investigate collusion, investigate true. his ties to Russia and the people around him, and that's, that's why he got rid of him. I don't care. Sally, that is Sally very Yates, true. Hold on. Sally Yates that would is, not have... Sally Yates... We, no, no, no. You have to at least be accurate. You cannot make up your own no, facts No, no. I did not interrupt you, Ben, so Sally be Yates quiet for a second, not okay? I know, I know it's hard Sa for hold you. On. Yates, this Yates is a, was this not is involved issue in investigating the president. This is an issue that goes on with Donald Trump. He wants to get rid of all the people who know he's colluding with Russia. He knows that they are honing in on him, all right, on Eric, his family, Eric, and Eric, he had to Eric, cut the head off the snake.